as the NFL playoffs get rolling, we have already seen some crazy, crazy choke jobs, such as the Cowboys losing by 20 to a Green Bay Packers team. But honestly, guys, no one really cares about football. No, basketball is way more interesting. And that's why I compiled a list of the biggest choke jobs in NBA history. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the 10 biggest choke jobs in NBA playoff history. Let's get right into it. For number 10, we have Kawhi Leonard going completely cold in game 7 to blow a 3-1 series lead to the Nuggets back in the bubble. Kawhi Leonard is often highly regarded as a very dominant force in the postseason and we saw this when he basically single-handedly beat the dynasty of the Golden State Warriors. But ever since the bubble, the Clippers have yet to enjoy someone like him. In fact, in the 2020 Western Conference Semifinals, Leonard only had 14 points on 27% shooting from the field in Game 7. And with that horrible night, the Clippers successfully managed to blow a 3-1 lead to the Denver Nuggets, and they were, as we all know, out of the NBA playoffs. This was an absolutely heartbreaking loss, and the Clippers have yet to rebound. Now, for 9, we have someone who is a notorious, notorious playoff choker, and that is James Harden. James Harden's evolution from 6th man to a superstar in his time with the Rockets was absolutely insane, but... Also with his time in the Rockets, he rarely translated his success in the postseason. After setting the playoff record for 10 turnovers in the 2013 postseason, Harden broke his own record at the worst time possible. In Game 5 against the Golden State Warriors, when they were facing elimination, James Harden tallied 13 turnovers while making only 18% of his 11 attempts to finish with 14 points and the Rockets were blown out 104 to 90. Absolutely brutal from someone like James Harden who's expected to be good. Next, we have a throwback to 2006 when Gilbert Arenas was playing LeBron James. The Cavs sent the Wizards home in a classic game 6 after Gilbert Arenas was sent to the foul line. Gilbert told LeBron that he was making both of those and LeBron said, you know who will end the game if you miss these. And guess what? Gilbert Arenas missed the two free throws and LeBron James hit the game winner. Absolutely cold from the GOAT. For number seven, we have an NBA legend at the back end of his career, but he was still supposed to be good. Patrick Ewing missed the potential game-winning layup in a series decider in 1995, Game 7, to make it to the NBA Finals. He missed the layup, and the Knicks were eliminated because of that, making it one of the worst playoff chokes in NBA history. Now, honorable mention time. For our honorable mention, we have back in Larry Bird's era when they were playing the Bad Boy Pistons, in a crucial Game 5 of the 1987 Eastern Conference Finals, the Pistons were up by only one point. And even though they would have had the final possession, Isaiah Thomas coughed up the rock in an inbound to Bill Lambeer. Larry Bird made the clutch steal to pave the way for a game winner by Dennis Johnson, and that gave the Celtics a victory en route to another NBA Finals appearance. This one is often underlooked, because of how long ago it was, but I felt like it was deserving of a mention, at least in this video. Now, for number 5, we have LeBron James. And this is kind of embarrassing, because he is obviously one of the greatest players to ever play the game. However, back in 2011, he made it to the NBA Finals. And from then on, it was very, very forgettable. Because even though they were favored to win the 2011 NBA Championship, him, D-Wade, and Chris Bosh, the Mavericks' zone defense shut down the King. LeBron only averaged 17.2 points per game and had 8 points in Game 7. That's right guys, the Mavericks were able to hold the GOAT LeBron to 8 points and that basically ruined the entire series for them. That's when they lost and LeBron was given the title of a playoff choker. 
But as we see later in this video, stick around for the last one, LeBron really had the greatest comeback in NBA history. Number 4, we have the Seattle Supersonics to become the first ever number 1 seed to get eliminated in the first round. They had KD at the time, and Dikembe Mutombo and the old Nuggets capitalized and stunned the Sonics. Three games in, they had already taken a 3-0 lead, and they were able to close out the series in 6, which was absolutely shocking to this young Supersonics team, which was so, so good but just not good enough. And that brings us to our other honorable mention. That's right, guys, two honorable mentions because we also have to talk about the Milwaukee Bucks losing last year to the Miami Heat in the first round. And of course, the Miami Heat ended up making the NBA championship, but a team with Giannis should not have lost to that Miami Heat team, which frankly wasn't good at all. Now for number three, this is when things get really funny because this is probably the worst mistake ever, like ever. The choke itself wasn't that bad, but the mistake was so bad because we're of course talking about J.R. Smith. You know that one play where he rebounded the ball and with two seconds left, the Cavs were down by one to the Warriors in game one of the 2018 NBA Finals. He dribbles the ball out instead of taking a wide open layup. And eventually the Cavs lost that series and it would have been much, much easier for that. So honestly, this was just shameful. But you know what's even more shameful? Number two because this time the Warriors choked. The Warriors blew a 31 point second half lead to a team consisting of A, DeAndre Jordan and B, Pat Bev. They were up 72 to 37 and they still lost the game to the Los Angeles Clippers. Absolutely embarrassing. Now, the one that you've all been waiting for is the 73-9 and Warriors slipping in the 2016 NBA Finals. Because this is most definitely the worst ever choke job in NBA history and possibly sports history in general. The best team to ever touch a basketball, 73-9, and better than Michael Jordan's 72-10 and Bulls faced off against LeBron James in the finals and stormed out to an early 3-1 lead. That's when, after one post-game interview, LeBron said that there was still a very slim hope. And what did my GOAT do? He absolutely destroyed them. Blocked by James. And so many more iconic moments came from this series that, honestly, the Warriors just crumbled and James and Kyrie capitalized on it. I'll see you guys in the next one, and like if you enjoyed. Thanks.